Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Rick McCutcheon, Dynamics 365 MVP, and today I'm talking to Roland Dexter, who is the Managing Director of QGate Software in the UK, and our subject matter will be building a user adoption practice. And we're going to focus on an ISV application called Click Learn that QGate's become very involved with. So, Roland, want to introduce yourself and maybe talk to us a little bit about what a user adoption practice really is. Hi, Rick. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, yeah, so from uh, from our aspect, uh, a user adoption practice is, is really trying to ensure that as a partner, we are delivering the maximum return for the customers that have made that investment in, in the technology in, in CRM, Dynamics 365 CE. Um, that's not an easy thing to do. There's a, a shed load of stats out there about adoption rates or lack of adoption rates, etc. cetera. Um, but we, we really try and focus on how we can improve the system in whatever aspect we can to maximize the chance of the users loving the system and, and making it work and therefore giving our customers maximum return on their investment. And, and this is a subject that's absolutely near and dear to my heart. I've been teaching user adoption courses for the user group for, you know, the last decade. And, you know, we've both been involved with this technology long enough to say it's not the technology anymore um, that we have problems with. It's change management and getting people to change what they do than how they do. So talk a little bit about, you know, QGate and the benefits that you're bringing the customer through user adoption, and then a little bit about the, as a partner, why is it good for you? Um, okay, how are we bringing that change around? Um, I mean, the key thing from our perspective is not to start with the technology. Um, you've got to come at it from why the customer's embarking on this project in the first place, and, and you have to involve the users in that decision, and, and that sometimes is a challenge in itself. Not, not every customer appreciates that their users have input into this process, but we work very hard on that to try and involve the right you know, kind of stakeholders through the whole piece and, and you know, keep the technology aside so that everybody, you know, if everybody knows what they're trying to achieve, then you get the buy-in and then it just escalates from there you know, in, in a positive way. Um, but once you get down to the technology side of things, um, you know, you're, you're trying to look at what can you do to smooth out the, the, the usage and the, the click points and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we really try to work on, you know, the, the application to be as smooth and slick as possible. Um, you know, data has a, has a part to play. You know, we've seen major issues where, you know, customers have invested a huge amount of money in the system, the data hasn't measured up and, you know, that day one training is a disaster because, you know, the customers just, you know, kind of the users just walk away. Mm -hmm. um, but training has been a key part of that. And we all know that one of the first things to be cut in a budget when you talk about costing is, is training. Um, you yes. know, that's quite a common thing. So we've been looking for some time as to how can we deliver cost effective training and ongoing 24 seven support, you know, in this kind of global international multi time zone world sort of thing. Um, and that's well, where it, from a year. It's interesting you say that it's been cut from the budget. I've seen many project plans for, you know, implementing CRM with no training involved in them. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. there's going to be a yeah. keyboard osmosis going on at some point <laughs> to get people to learn this. So, you know, I'm yeah. excited, you know, I think we're both excited about the ClickLearn application and, and what, what it can do. So talk a little bit about what QGate's doing with ClickLearn and how that's becoming part of your practice. So, um, our, our our approach with ClickLearn is is to look at the uh, the many uh, aspects that you can use it in to deliver um, training and assistance at various points within the life cycle, and that starts all the way from like UAT. So you know the beauty of ClickLearn is you can really get some stuff to content materials together very very quickly. So even when you're trying to you know train the people that are doing UAT, who again may be international because of the, the type of rollout you're doing, you know, you can very quickly put some materials together to, to get them uh, aligned so they can carry out their, their role as part of that, that testing process. Um, the context of onboarding is slightly different from the context of, of uh, you know ongoing help, etc. So you know we're really using click learn you know in a number of aspects in slightly different scenarios. Um, some of the stuff you don't have to repeat because you can reuse elements of the content you, you've created, you know, once. Um, uh, so, you know, so really why, looking at how, why don't you quickly describe how uh, ClickLearn works? So, uh, ClickLearn uh, at its core 
is a click by click screen capture process. Um, and anybody that's created a document using, using screen grabs and then notation will know how tedious and time consuming that is. Clickler makes that kind of step by step recording process real, real simple um, and allows you to build content very, very quickly. Um, the, the, the end, the, 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 the bit on top of that then is then structuring that content into something that makes sense to a user in those different contexts that we've just described. Yeah, so there is, you know, you've got to make sure that the content reflects the purpose that you are presenting it to the, to the user at, the, at a particular point in time. But ClickLearn allows you to structure that content, be able to, allows you to publish multiple portals so that you can have, you know, an onboarding portal, a uh, user assistance portal, et cetera. Um, but it's that, that, that process of being able to capture step by step very clearly, um, very cleanly, um, that, that really makes the, the process of building that, you know, you know very simple. Um, and if things change, you don't have to re-record the whole thing. You can just go back and edit and amend the step that might have changed because you've done some updates. You know, that's, that's the difference. Like I used to use recording like Camtasia Studio and things yeah. like that to build uh, learning materials. But you're right. If we changed anything and I had a 10-minute video, I had to do the whole thing over again. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that, that ability. So now for the customers that we've rolled this out to, you know, as we quote them and, and for further enhancements, we just include, you know, an hour or two or whatever it might be to update the, the click learn content. And it is only, you know, that small snippet of time because you're not, as you, as you said, recording the whole thing. You're just amending that element of the system also that's been amended, for example. Um, and it supports really multi-language as well, correct? Yeah, so the, the, the multi-language capability is, is very simple um, uh, to, to translate. Uh, and it provides it, you know, does a great job of, of giving that core. We kind of look at it at the 80 20. You might want a, a natu natural language speaker to bet it and just check that the context is right. But, you know, in terms of taking the legwork and the hard, you know, grunt work out of it, it's, it's cracking. Good. So, um, you know, it's, it's great for the partner to be able to use Click Learn. I think there's some huge advantages for the customer. Um, from you know having updated materials, having them available on a portal, so it's 724 to be able to uh, to enhance their probably training that they're going to do and 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 to build that onto it, you know, onto yep. the program. And <clears throat> from the user group experience that I've had, and lots of companies over the years come into the user group, and I almost you know here are the most successful companies, here are the little less successful companies. And it's really all about user adoption. It's all yeah, yeah. about whether they have somebody and something supporting that CRM system going forward. So if they roll it out, hand it to somebody and walk away from it and say, okay, here's the application, go ahead and use it, it doesn't yeah. work. So I see, you know, click learn really being a, a big part of what, what can be done to, you know, make user adoption happen in an organization. Can you talk a little bit about sort of how you're set up? And I know there's a partner to partner aspects where you're supporting partners or partners mm -hmm. can get involved with ClickLearn. Um, so we're, we're uh, the first authorized partner in the UK. So we can you know, resell to our customers if necessary. But the, 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 the exciting piece for us is to be able to help those partners, to be able to offer as a service um, click learn uh, so that they can support their customers based on a you know per month type type approach that we're, we've we've implemented um, you know we've invested in specific education so uh, Roland tell us a little bit about how you're set up to work with partners I know there's a, a partner to partner aspect or a partner can get involved with click learn directly yeah so, uh, you know, we've taken the approach of, of the, the service provider option, which means that we can facilitate uh, supporting partners that maybe not today, maybe in the future, but not today, want to make that, that key investment, that capital investment in, in the solution. But we can provide, you know, through them uh, to their customers that click learn experience to give them the benefit of, of the platform. Okay, great. So um, after this video is completed, we're going to have a, a bit of a demo of, of, of Click Learn on the other end. So um, partners can get involved with this product. I think it's one of the fastest growing ISV applications out there. In fact, the first time I heard about it was uh, two years ago at the user group summit and I was teaching user adoption. People were coming into my classroom and saying, hey, have you seen Click Learn? I said, what's a <laughs> Click Learn? Well, you better go find out. So yeah. I'm, you know, it's great you guys have put this practice together. 
uh, to support yeah. partners to do it directly. And, yeah. you know, I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing them all at Summit again coming up in October uh, in Orlando because, you know, for those partners and end user customers that haven't seen this application, you really got to, you really got to see it. So Roland, thanks for your time today and uh, we'll probably see you in Orlando. Okay. Good to see you, Rick. Thanks a lot.